Then we're going to get into the status of our right to know request and the shocking details of the parent survey from New Boston. I think we're going to need to take a trip through the Garden Center at Jacques after reading this one. We still have no new information from Stacy Buckley on the multiple requests we have there. And that's more than a little aggravating. But we did, from School Board Chairman Kevin Collimore, receive the information that we had looked for from New Boston's community survey. So apparently what they did was the school board sent out a survey, not just to parents with kids in the school, but parents to uh, uh, but residents of the whole town. And uh, <laughs> I picked that up when I was reading this. One of the comments in it was, I find this questionnaire to be extremely biased, favoring questions aimed at those with children. As a taxpayer, I should be able to have input with relevant answers. Question six should also have a no building section. Well, one of the things, one of the, the, the things in the questionnaire is should New Boston build its own middle school? Oh. So I am, this is a 32 page document with over 130 comments. Now, 130, that's not 130 different people, though. Yes, it is. Oh, 130 different yeah. voices. Yeah. Wow. That's a, that's a pretty big number, wouldn't you say? Uh huh. Now, what are the, the what are, what time frame are we talking about? Recent. Uh, looks like the survey ran from the end of April to the beginning of June, based on the dates of the entries that I have here. So I would call that a pretty healthy response. Sure. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so of the thirty-two pages that I have. Now I'm not just skimming these. I I'm reading these. I've been through fourteen pages. In the fourteen pages. There are 28 very negative comments about Mountain View Middle School. There are three positive, and there are 18 that either address the high school or aren't about the schools in particular so much as it is maybe a general situation. Um, so two-thirds of it's negative. Uh, yeah. Well, if you, if you take a look at the ones commenting specifically on Mountain View Middle School... It's a 28, uh-oh, to 3, yay. Well, let's see. Child complained about being bored at Mountain View Middle School. Not challenged at all other than accelerated algebra class. Seventh grade science class was repetitive and teacher failed to cover roughly half the curriculum that other teams taught. We discovered this when child began eighth grade and discussed material covered with fellow students who had been in another team during the seventh grade. Chose to send child to private high school, very costly but worth every penny. Child is now challenged, engaged, interested, learning, held accountable for work, treated with respect and dignity, understands consequences for her actions, works harder to receive A's. The bar has been raised. My child is getting very high grades and is not being challenged. She is bored and often entertained by the antics going on in the classroom over there. That's never good. So this parent's question wants to know, will she ever be challenged? I think the administration, SAU and school board, needs to look very closely at academic rigor as well as behavioral issues at middle school. Listening to stories my child comes home with, the classes are out of control, students lack respect for the teachers, teachers lack respect for the students, and the same goes for the teacher and administration relationship. The behavioral issues are appalling. What goes on at the middle school is not okay. There should be clear consequences to actions and expectations should be set from the very beginning. I completely understand that the age group is difficult, but there is a disconnect somewhere. These issues and concerns have been being brought up for some time now with nothing done about it. There are many families in New Boston choosing to send their children elsewhere to be educated after New Boston Central School. This is a huge sacrifice for many families financially and emotionally. At what point does something have to happen for Goffstown School Board to see the light? We've been asking that same question here at Gerard at Large. It's nice to know that you're not alone, Rich. <laughs> well, 
And, and you know, when I, what's becoming clear in, in these surveys is that there are a number of parents who are unhappy with the teachers as well as the administration. And one of the things that keeps coming up over and over again are kids complaining about the lack of discipline to their parents in the school because you hear parents say that in these things. Let me see. Uh, several of our children have attended golf, and our experience has been that the district does not meet the requirements for a quality education. So you folks in Manchester, I, I want you to take heart in this. Because you, you think that, and Manchester gets beat up a lot, and when, you're, you know, when your school district is bigger than 90% of the towns in the state of New Hampshire, I suppose it's bound to make you a target. But, um, you know, we don't necessarily hear these kinds of criticisms coming out of Manchester, although we do hear it about the curriculum and the curriculum being soft, especially at the middle school level. I think middle school is just a disaster. I think middle school should be abolished. Not just in Goffstown. Everywhere. And, and middle school in Goffstown, by the way, starts in the fifth grade. So middle school took the place of junior high school. It did. And that, that's been an unmitigated disaster wherever it's been tried. So let me see. Mm, district does not... There's so much bullying behavior problems that teachers cannot teach. They do not teach the curriculum in a manner for all students to grasp the concept, are not willing to differentiate instruction by using assistive technology, and hold expectations to real-world level rather than differentiate instruction by lowering expectations. They lower expectations. So New Boston students are not preparing to be lifelong learners. And she went on to criticize several specific things. I say she, could be he, I don't know who it is. Uh, at this point, the time... I feel the leadership at SAU 19, which is Stacy Buckley and the Gosstown School Board, perpetuates problems and educational concerns are beyond repair. We are involved parents who value education, but the administration across all schools in Gosstown have alienated us from partnering in our children's education. I'm beginning to think there's no mystery to why Phil Pankos, chairman of the Gosstown School Board, forbade the release of this information to members of the area board that govern the three towns who send their kids to these schools. Can't do that. And didn't even allow it to go to his own school board. Chairman Pankos, I'm going to break it open for you. And I will email this to anybody who wants it. Oh, actually, I've already done that. You can go to oh my blog at GerardAtLarge.com where we've posted all of these comments unedited as we receive them for your review. Gerard at Large continues in just 30 seconds. This just keeps getting better and better, by the way. <clears throat> For our large time is 6.47. We continue now taking your calls. If you are in New Boston or in SAU 19, which includes New Boston, Goffstown, and Dunbarton. So you got to understand something. Stacy Buckley is actually a superintendent for three school boards. The ones that govern SAU 19. The school board in New Boston basically um, oversees the New Boston Central School. The school board in uh, Dunbarton oversees the Dunbarton Elementary School. The school board in Goffstown oversees the Goffstown schools. The Goffstown school district is about the size of West Manchester. That number of kids who go to school on the west side of the city. And, um, but they get kids from New Boston. In, in Dunbarton. Dunbarton. Yeah. Okay. Now, those I believe those two elementary schools go through sixth grade. I know uh, New Boston Central School does. Because when I lived out there, we considered sending our kids there because the drive into Manchester every day was murder. Um, but, um, and so they go through, they go K through six, and then they go seven to eighth at Mountain View, and then they go to Goffstown High. So there's something called an area board, and the area board is comprised of members of the three school boards, and they discuss, although I don't believe they have much authority, they discuss the issues um, uh, surrounding uh, the, the shared schools. But the Goffstown School Board is ultimately the one that has control, and the Goffstown taxpayers are ultimately the ones that decide the budgets. And it's interesting reading some of these comments because having been as involved in Manchester as I have been, Dunbarton and New Boston have the same complaint that the sending towns in Manchester had, and some of the Townsfolk are like we want we want representatives on the Gosstown School Board, so that our voice so we can have a direct effect on what's happening in those schools. 
okay? So, you know, whether it's Manchester in its sending towns or Goffstown in its sending towns or other towns in their sending towns, there is always a disconnect because the, the town in which the schools are located is the school board that has jurisdiction. Anyway, my child did not care for MVMS, Mountain View Middle School. We found the principal was very lax, high turnover of teachers, and several teachers had out-of-control students and could not gain control of their classes. We found a few terrific teachers and quite a few lazy teachers. Band teacher was a nice guy, but very poor instructor with very low standards for quality. Turned many kids away from staying in band. My child said she was too embarrassed to remain in the band and quit. Ouch. Let me see. Would you like to hear more? Of course. <laughs> Hard to be part of a school community where your opinions do not count unless you're from Goffstown. <laughs> oh, let me see. Special ed, main, uh, ed for mainstream kids needs improvement. Kids on their own, for the most part. Mountain View prior to Mr. Hunt was a pit. No special ed. Teachers did what they pleased, and their concern, and, the, and there was a concerted effort to discourage parent, particularly not in Goffstown involvement. Goffstown Teachers Union is pursuing agenda of their own. Almost seems like it's to spite the Goffstown board or SAU administration, not a positive relationship. I kind of chuckled at this one. Goffstown is a large school district. <laughs> Moving along. Uh, mainly we need a voice to change. My daughter attends... No, that one... No, that one's not... I have two children in Mountain View. They are very frustrated by lack of control in the classroom. They say teachers waste too much time on the undisciplined children, so a lot of their classroom time is wasted. I am sure that is why it's easy for them to get A's, because it isn't rigorous enough for them. See, Manchester, you think that you're the only ones who have these problems. There is very poor communication between the school and parents. This is Mountain View. Uh, even when there are serious situations such as lockdowns, or we recently evacuated a classroom for poor air quality, which triggered asthma response in my child, and I was not notified. Nice. All of my kids were B students, primarily at New Boston Central School, and get A-plus at Mountain View. The curriculum is not challenging. Don't you love it when parents say, my kid ain't that smart, they shouldn't be getting A's? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I think that's great. I know parents who are homeschooling rather than sending their kids to Goffstown Middle School. At the same time, the high school seems to be positive. I would like us to look into Bedford, or at least one, but also consider building our own middle school. We should figure out an alternative to sending our kids to Goffstown Middle School. Da -da 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 -da. But they, they don't have an alternative, right? What's that? Is there any other choices for these parents? Oh, I'm sure there's always choices. I'm sure there are plenty of towns that would love to receive the tuition money to take in kids from a town like New Boston. If we rene renegotiate, uh, uh, we like Goffstown High, but I've heard nothing but terrible things about Mountain View. If we renegotiate with Goffstown, we will homeschool our children for grades 7 and 8. My children... Uh, the school, uh, no, that's not it. I'm concerned about the programming, the uh, quality of programming and staff philosophy. I've heard feedback from parents about Mountain View, which concerns me. The students were not challenged. I think it is important that you study uh, to review. Oh, this is great. I think it is important in your study to review the Academy of Science and Design, a public charter school in Merrimack, which has now moved to Nashua. Two years ago, only one student from New Boston attended ASD. Last year was five students. This year is 18 with many more on a waiting list. The main reason we send our kids to ASD is that we will not go to Mountain View Middle School. Wow. It just keeps going on and on and on. Build our own middle school, but continue with Goffstown High. MVMS needs a lot of work if it can be improved. Goffs... <laughs> Goffstown, please stay with Goffstown with the intention of putting pressure on Mountain View Middle School to improve. We are extremely impressed with Goffstown High. MVMS is a disappointment, perhaps negotiating with Goffstown with the understanding that MVS uh, Mountain View Middle School needs to improve. 
My children did not enjoy their two years at Mountain View Middle School, and I was not happy with the administration at that time, nor with the distance to the school. Renegotiate with Goffstown, but first need to fix Mountain View Middle School. Communication issues, leadership, address teacher performance, a handful of teachers. Mm-hmm. We are upset that we value because we value our kids' education and can encourage him to do his best only to be sending him to a negative environment after the sixth grade. We know parents who have decided to homeschool or send their children to private school rather than to enroll at Mountain View. This is very frustrating. It will take a long time to quote unquote fix all of these MBMS issues have uh, MBM Mountain View has. Ideally we would love to see New Boston build our own school and continue a high standard of teaching. We owe this to our kids. If, you dis- if this time decides to renegotiate with Goffstown, we will not send our children to Mountain View Middle School. I think the weakest link is the middle school. I mean, it goes on and on and on. We need to put some pressure on Goffstown to improve, especially Mountain View. Mountain View did not treat New Boston and, New- and Dunbarton students fairly. I had two kids go there, and I had a horrible experience with both. Mountain View teachers and principal did not take extra time with our children. Middle school is weak. Middle school Mountain View was difficult. Less parent interact, uh, less parent teacher interaction. Worried about Mountain View as a parent of a learning disabled child. I want to see it. New Boston explore a partnership with Bedford. <laughs> Listen to this one. You guys getting the point? I know how important it is to provide, as a special ed teacher, I know how important it is to provide continuing high quality services to students with special needs. I've heard from many parents who have children with special needs who were transitioned to Goffstown schools. They were quite unhappy that the teachers did not read or know about an IEP. Goffstown often states that students in New Boston are behind too much and it won't happen here. Parents struggle to advocate for their kids. Students struggle to survive in an atmosphere that provides little or no special ed strategies or extra assistance. We had no children who went to New Boston Central School, but if we did, they would not have attended Goffstown, either build our own middle high school or join Amherst or Bedford. So those are some of the highlights. You can read them all yourself at oh my blog at Gerard at Large. .com. I don't expect that you'd hear these kind of comments from Liberty Harbor Academy, by the way. The parents I know who send their kids to Liberty Harbor Academy find it a fantastic place to send their kids. And perhaps, if you're listening in New Boston, Goffstown, Dunbarton, you're worried about the quality of education your kids are going to get in the 7th, 8th, 9th through 12th grade, get nothing to lose by taking a look at Liberty Harbor. Pay him a visit at libertyharboracademy.org. That's libertyharboracademy.org.